Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second week of August. This is, so that would be like, well, August 10th through the 16th, something like that. You know, the timing is fluid. So this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second week of August. What do we have for Capricorn? Second week of August. What do we get? Hand. Ooh. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Harp. Great happiness. So, it looks to me as though you will find great happiness when you ask for assistance but you got to be careful who you're dealing with because you got somebody around you that is insincere. Okay? They are undependable and they're insincere. And whoever this person is, they are affecting your happiness. But the happiness is here. So that's a good thing. You probably need some sort of help. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like to me. Now that just flipped over. Eight of Wands reversed. What do we have for the week ahead? Someone you know is undependable and insincere. And it's affecting your happiness. And you need some sort of help. Death and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands in reversed. This can be a male or, or a female. This is some Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, this person is probably the one that is insincere, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They don't communicate well or they don't tell the truth or they don't communicate at all. Um, the Eight of Wands reversed is uh, lack of communication, poor communication skills. This is blocked. You may be being blocked by this person. Or there could be some jealousy issues. You may be... This person may be jealous. Could be dealing with the Leo. Aries, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with Scorpio. But these are both Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Now, the, this uh, death card is a new beginning. So endings lead to new beginnings. Death is a profound life change. So somebody's life is about to change. Now this this is being something may somebody may be stopped in their tracks. There is some sort of change that is coming. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Now I don't know what's going on here, but the Wheel of Fortune reverse is a shocking, unpredictable, horrendous loss that you didn't see coming. And that is the case because somebody has been resisting change. They've been resisting. There's resistance here. This is bad luck. Bad timing. Somebody that is stuck. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio three times so far. Now this could be your energy. King of Pentacles reversed. Six of Cups, reversed. Knight of Pentacles. You have a lot of people here. This week, there's going to be a lot of people around. And they may, it may not be under the best circumstances. Fool reversed is foolish behavior. So we have some sort of reckless, foolish behavior. This is headed for a fall. Okay. The Fool reversed. is, is de And that's bad timing as well. So we have some bad timing where somebody may be falling um they run into some bad luck or they run they don't look where they're going this is unprepared uh they may there may even be some unfinished business with the with the past that is going to be dealt with dealt with this week we have an individual that ignores advice that is very 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 stubborn 
uh, doesn't listen to anybody, doesn't have any contingency plan as well. Now this could be loss of fortune. Some Something is, is being lost, okay, with this Wheel of Fortune reversed. And it's because there's a lot of stubbornness here. Lack of planning. So somebody wasn't planned. Definitely unprepared. Somebody is unprepared. They're unprepared. Something is also coming to a stop. Okay. I think it's going to be an emotional week. I think that you will be receiving emotional support from somebody. I do feel like you are loved. Okay. I feel like you are loved. I think there's a lot of love around you. But there's also uh, needing to listen to advice. And I feel like that's a problem. I do feel like that is a problem. Now, it could be the person that you are dealing with that doesn't listen to any advice. But that's what our ego would like to say. Our ego would like to point the finger at somebody else and say, oh, no, it's not me. So be careful that that's not what you are doing. We do have a poor judgment call with the full reverse. Somebody making a poor judgment call. Uh, stepping over the edge or stepping... This is like stepping over a cliff, right? So this is like falling. Now the Six of Cups reversed is uh, freedom from obligation. So somebody may be freed from their obligations. There's some sort of selective memory here. Some, we may have somebody here that only remembers one side. You know, they don't remember. Either they all they remember is the negative or all they remember is the positive. There's, there's like a what. This is choosing, you know, only to reminisce about the good things. You know, forgetting about the bad things or vice versa. So there's... And I do feel like it's going to be a very emotional time. There could be, this could have something to do with a sibling or um, your past, somebody from the past. We do have an ending that is probably going to, uh, <sighs> It's an ending with somebody that you may have had a deep connection with because this is an ending. This is somebody that you may have, I don't know if it's somebody that you grew up with or whatever. Um, now, the, the Page of Cups is very, very emotional. This is naive. Be careful. These are both naive. So some and you do have to be careful. Somebody is is uh they, you know we get that we get the Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that uh, is really not qualified. They're inflexible. They're obsessed with something. Um, Lack of common sense. We may have somebody here that lacks common sense. And I, that lacking of common sense may, you know, cause them some sort of loss. There could even be some illegal dealings here. Somebody doing something illegal. Now, the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is lazy. Both of these cards, very, very lazy, making poor financial decisions. This whole lineup, seriously, this is poor decisions. We have somebody here that has, is making some sort of poor decisions. And their, their lack of judgment, this card, is going to cause a huge loss. So somebody is, is going to, is making a poor decision that is, is going to uh, bring them backwards. This is going backwards. But endings lead to new beginnings. So this is a card of profound change. Now, I don't know. Some of you may be dealing with a father. This is ungrounded, unrealistic, uh, jealous, unfaithful. There could be somebody here that is definitely... There's jealousy issues here. And there's ungroundedness. This is jealousy, jealousy, jealousy. So, so there's a lot of jealousy and wanting to be in control. So the problem here is clinging to control. 
So this week, I feel like it's going to be a definitely going to be an emotional week where there's, I think there's some power struggles. Somebody is going to make an impulsive decision without thinking, and it feels like they're going to fall. They're going to fall. I feel like you may be dealing with somebody who uh, may maybe maybe you've been holding on because this is clinging to control. This is just a scenario that I'm seeing. Some of you may be holding on to somebody that is with another person. Maybe it's a Scorpio. You know, this person is with another person. That's why they're not communicating with you, and you need to let go. Clinging to the past. So somebody here is definitely clinging to the past. Clinging to the memories. Clinging to all the good times. When it's time for a change, it's time to start over. It's time for your new life. This is like lack of accepting reality. So we have somebody here that is probably going to get a reality check. Death is a new life. It's a profound change. So that we have a new life that is about to begin. But somebody has been resisting their new life. And they may have been doing things illegally. Now they're going to have a loss. Whoever this person is that is doing things illegally is going... This is a separation. It is. It's a loss. And it is a big loss. You may be going through some sort of uh, separation this week. But you're also going to be receiving emotional support. Which is interesting. Nothing stays the same with this and this. So nothing stays the same. And I feel like you've been resisting. You have been resisting some sort of change. There could also be some good news that is coming with the Page of Cups. Maybe you have a new opportunity for love. This could even be a pregnancy or a birth. There is some sort. This is, this is news coming. Maybe it's a new love with somebody that is emotionally available. Somebody may be opening your, their heart to you. It's not somebody from the past. It's not. But we have an individual here that has been clinging to the memories of the past. And that's foolish. They've, made a, they've wasted a lot of time being inflexible. being not practical. Anyhow, somebody's probably going to be giving you a hand. They're going to be giving you something. Page of Swords. You're going to be receiving a message probably that you don't want to hear. This could have something to do with a child or a sibling. A message that you don't want to hear. That is a mild conflict. There's gonna it could even be a fight. There could be a there could be a conflict here that ends. Okay, that this is bad luck. That it could end badly. There could be a fight that ends badly. Page of Pentacles, my goodness. So we have we have we have a lot of pages. We have a lot of people here. A lot of people in your week that are going to be Involved. So there's going to be a lot of people involved in your week. Now the Page of Pentacles is a new door opening, a new enterprise, a new opportunity. An opportunity to go down a new path, but somebody has been resisting it. They have been resisting, you know, going down a new path. 
but they're going to be given the opportunity again. Now, the Page of Pentacles is that's the that's manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. They have manifested this new opportunity. They're going to be given, like I said, they're going to be given an opportunity. But it almost feels like they waste it. They don't take it. This is about setting goals, laying new foundations, using common sense, being realistic, following through. So I feel like this week you are going to be given an opportunity that you uh, probably didn't expect. You weren't ready for. This is bad timing. This one is too. It's like you're going to be given an opportunity and maybe it's a new love. Or it's pregnancy or something like that. Or there's something here. There's an opportunity. Or it doesn't, it could, doesn't have to be either. It could be anything. You are going to be given an opportunity that could lead to something long term. It could lead to something solid. But I think you will be conflicted about taking this. Because it's, you may feel that it's not the right time. Because you're not ready for your new life. You're not ready to let go of the past. You're not ready to let go of whatever the hell it is you're holding on to. But I think that there there is somebody that really, really cares for you that is going to be giving you an opportunity. Okay? This, this is somebody that uh, sees your potential. But you have to stop holding on to the past and you need to stop holding on to whoever this individual that is. You've got an individual here that is very forceful, very manipulative that is in your life. They are not that. This is your insincere person. You have an insincere person. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. It's this person right here. I think it's Aries Leo Sagittarius. I think that you need to go down another path. You need to leave this person behind. You have a new opportunity for companionship or you have somebody in your life that is perfect for you. This person could be coming in this week, okay? There could be, you could be communicating with this person. You, you... Uh, they may be expressing feelings. They may be inviting you out. I feel like you are going to be deepening a connection with somebody. Do not let whoever this person is in the past mess it up. You know? You have a love connection here or a partnership. You have, and this doesn't have to be love. This is a partnership. You have an opportunity to partner up with somebody that can lead you down a path to long-term stability. Okay, this is long-term stability. Okay, it is. If you follow through. But I feel like you're going to be very conflicted. I think you're going to be conflicted. You may want to procrastinate. Okay, there could be some fear. Fear of change okay because you, you you have to end the current cycle which is the cycle right here before you can step into the new one so this week is probably going to be a week of profound change where you uh unite with a partner that uh really makes you happy that's what i got good luck